Hey folks, welcome back to the show, Billy Vince here. Uh, we got a really special episode for you today. Today we're gonna be talking about what you can do to eat healthy on the road. And I think this is this is incredibly special. Um, we're gonna just take a, take a look around at some of the stuff that we have here. Everything here that you see is absolutely fantastic. It's absolutely fantastic. It's all vegan, it's all organic, all plant-based matter. This is incredibly essential. You have your trail mix. You got your almonds, you got your other uh, things. I have no idea what those are. Your other, um, the small green things, I really, I have no idea what these are called. Absolutely essential to have, absolutely fantastic. So here we have my absolute favorite. This is essential, a very, very fantastic, very delectable treat here. We have Brazil nuts. So commonly these nuts are found in Brazil, but you can also buy them at the uh, local supermarket, the local co-op. And that's a really fantastic way to enjoy your Brazil nuts. Here we have something else, something really quite amazing. These are little white flakes. I have absolutely no idea what the name of, of them are, but they are white flakes with speckles of green. And these are absolutely fantastic, absolutely essential for the for the uh, concoction that we're gonna be making later here on the show. Now here's something that I wanna show you all. This is incredibly nifty stuff. These are actually called mulberries. Mulberries are commonly found in places such as Ecuador, places such as South Africa. They pretty much grow all over the place. Now here you have your, your pecans. Now pecans are really quite interesting. They're sort of like a nut, but they're not quite because they look like little shoes stories go that pecans actually came from a little village in East Africa where they actually use these little nuts as shoes. So sometimes instead of pecans, they're called shukins. And here you have my absolute favorite, my absolute, 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 absolute favorite, little green nuts. Super fantastic, super good for you. Little green nuts. I, once again, I have no idea what they're called, but they're so delicious. You just just pop them in your mouth and they're really going to give you that 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 flavor that you want for the concoction that we're going to be making later now these little little guys right over here these little guys and gals these are called ismins absolutely necessary i, I really do we actually do we actually know where ismins are from? okay we don't know actually where is the ismins are from i don't actually know what they taste like i've never tasted them before but it's gonna be really fantastic it's gonna be really great because we're gonna taste them and that will be a uh, first time for me it'll be an experience for everyone these are this is this is, you're gonna love this so we talked about the white dots with green speckles now these are actually black dots with white speckles so i'm not really sure how the flavor is going to be affecting our concoction here that we're going to be making later but my guess is that instead of tasting like white flakes with green dots they're probably going to taste like black flakes with with white dots that would be my assumption so we'll see how that that goes later oh of course i almost forgot my my favorite part this these are the um rizmims yeah, these are good rhythms. Now, you might have noticed that we actually have two jars for one of the items here. Now, these are called robotic cubes, um, otherwise known as robo cubes for short. They are little chocolate robotic cubes that are absolutely delectable, absolutely nifty, and for all of you chocolate lovers, I absolutely recommend them. The thing that they don't actually put on the package is a disclaimer. The disclaimer is that if you eat too many of these, you will most certainly vomit all over your kitchen. So the idea is maybe to only eat 10 to 15 at a time. It's really essential. We got our blizzberries over here. Absolutely fantastic. We have our grapes or sometimes in the um, South African jungles, they're, they're referred to as grape. This is actually the Latin name for them. How much do you want to bet? How much do you want? Uh, okay, I'm going to prove you wrong right now. How much do you want to bet? This guy over here, how much do you want to I'm going to get it in. I'm going to get it in. What did I tell you? Billy at home. Is it Benimnims? Yeah, I believe they're called Benimnims. And over here we actually have our um, cucumbers. These are good. And our cucumbers, our bismims, um, our um, cabos, um, these are all things that are really essential. I have absolutely no idea what any of these actually taste like or what they do, but this is what they're gonna make. Now, I don't really know exactly how they even make this particular thing. The, the, the folks backstage there, they said that actually if we use a, a sort of process that, that pulverizes the organic plant matter, somehow we get this liquid concoction. And um, so, bottoms up, cheers to all the, the folks that watch Billy at home. Thanks. Mmm! It's absolutely fantastic. It's absolutely fantastic. 
I'm, I'm gonna say that it sort of tastes like if you went into your backyard and you took like a lot of dirt perhaps and you also gathered a lot of grass and a lot of surrounding rocks from the streams and the rivers that are in your local neighborhood. Roger! Roger! Yeah, yeah, can you get the mouthwash? This is, this is all, this is terrible. This is, I, I don't like this at all. Next, I'm not doing this for the next show. Can you please get, can you get the mouthwash, please? Thank you. So if you're really into that sort of thing, I'm not really that into it, but if you're into that sort of thing, you're gonna absolutely love it. I just, I really don't know why we can't just do an episode where I'm drinking pina coladas on a beach somewhere. I really, I enjoy pina coladas. I don't like this, this mud milk. Every episode, I feel like I'm drinking mud milk. I'm, I'm eating mud milk for these people. I don't even, I'm not even a veg. I don't even like vegetables. No, David. David, I haven't had, I haven't eaten a vegetable in 10 years. I haven't had vegetables in 10 years. So no, abs absolutely not. Well, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the show. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me drink from this very provocative glass. And I hope you guys enjoyed my presentation on, on all these, uh, these beautiful foods. I have absolutely no idea what, what they do or, or if they're good for you or not, but this is uh, what the folks backstage tell me to do. So, uh, hope you, hope you enjoy, uh, your, your side of the road, uh, juice here. Mmm. It, it, it absolutely tastes uh, absolutely terrible, so I hope you liked it. Oh, David. Oh, what are you bringing Billy, me, Billy, David? Billy, I'm sorry. You oh, drink this really Roger, short, Billy. Roger, do you know he's Billy. trying to serve me for the show? This every time! I've done 17 seasons! I don't want the 17th season be me drinking mud milk again! David! David, you know I haven't had vegetables in 10 years. Why are you giving me this? And that will be a first time for me. It'll be an experience for everyone.